Yeah, sometimes you work a little bit too fast, which was the case uh, right now. <laughs> so if I can do this stuff, everybody can. It's early Saturday morning and I'm on my way to the boat again. Uh, I'm going to yeah, do some more work on the electrical system. As you saw in the video the other week, we have now removed the 12 volt bank. We only have a starter battery left on the 12 volt side. And we won't replace those batteries. Um, that side of the electrical system on the boat, the 12 volt side, will be fed through the 24 volt side. But to be able to do that, I need to install some DC to DC converters uh, from 24 volt to 12 volt. And for that, I will install these. Combined, they can give us 40 amps in 12 volts, um, and that's plenty enough because we don't have any heavy users on the 12 volt side. So now I just need to find a suitable place to install them. Uh, I'm thinking I'm going to install them somewhere in the engine compartment, uh, but obviously not in a place where it gets really hot because that's not very good. I could install them in the old, uh, yeah, where the old 12 volt batteries used to sit. But I'm planning to have my tools there instead, so uh, yeah, I just have to look around a bit. Now one feature I really like on this boat is that there's a big, big hatch going into the engine compartment from the cockpit area. It makes it so much easier to work down there and um, gives you plenty of good light too. Right now it's pretty dirty here, but this is how it looks. And then you have the, the whole engine compartment down there. Now, so if you ever need to do some major work on the engine to lift it out, it's a pretty fast and easy job when you have a big hatch like this. Just remove the, the canvas and then you can hoist the whole engine up uh, with the help of the boom. Um. So this is the place where I'm thinking could be a good suitable position for them, the DC to DC converters. One on this side and another one over here. And the thing here is there's a wall coming up here. So uh, you get some protection from the heat in here, but uh, obviously these produce, produce some heat as well but I think it would be okay to have them here, actually. Uh, there is a relay on this side, this Bosch relay, but I can remove that because I don't need that anymore. This relay was to combine the starter battery with a 12 volt bank um, during charging. But um, since the starter battery now will be the only battery connected to, to the 12 volt generator or alternator, um, yeah, I will just remove that relay. Yeah, sometimes you work a little bit too fast, which was the case uh, right now. <laughs> I installed them too high and forgot about the insulation on the hatch. <laughs> so I need to move them down uh, around 20 millimeters more, because otherwise the hatch will uh, get to them when I close that. Yeah, luckily I um, found out now and not later when I have connected all the cables and everything. Okay. 
Okay, now I just really hope I can close that hatch. Uh, so we'll see. <laughs> Yeah, that seems to be okay. Have a good, I don't know, 15, 20 millimeters above. Yeah, some of you might wonder if these uh, converters are really safe here, just beneath the hatch, if there's a leak. Uh, but they are um, yeah, protected by uh, up to IP43. So that means that they're pretty well protected, even if there should be a small leak. Uh, but so far this hatch has been bone dry. There's never been a drop coming into the boat Even if you take the hose and really hose down the cockpit, so it's a really Tight seal, so I'm not worried at all about that Yeah, one really nice thing about this boat is that the former owner has really marked everything up in the electrical system. It makes it so much easier when you're doing jobs like this. Like here, you have a cable, but you can see where is it going, what's it for. In this case, the battery charger for the 12 volt system. There's another one, the minus cable for the charger. Everything has a marking on it. And that's something that I, I really like and I will try to uh, keep that up to make it easier for future owners of this boat. Most boats you buy when they're old and they maybe have had, I don't know, 10 owners in a row. The electrical system can be a real mess. And it's understandable because when you install stuff and you just, okay, I'm just going to install this one thing. Uh, it's easy to take shortcuts. Uh, I do it sometimes too. Um, you just, uh, you know, maybe you cut the cable for the old equipment and uh, you don't pull it out. You just leave it in place and uh, you install the new stuff, but you don't mark the cables. And then after maybe 20, 30 years with different owners doing the same thing, uh, but in different ways. <laughs> Uh, it can be a real mess. So I connect them in parallel, so they will give 20 amps each. Well, that's it for today. Time to head back to the house, have some dinner, and meet the girls, and uh, I will continue tomorrow. I managed to get an early start and drove through an empty Malmö to the harbor on the other side of town. The plan for the day was to finish the installation of the DC converters. I made sure to label the cables to make future work in the system a lot easier. Uh, this cable was the only <laughs> cable I had on board that was long enough, but it's just barely long enough. But uh, I think it will be okay. It should be a couple of centimeters longer really, but be alright. <laughs> I can actually feel electricity because it's kind of sweaty and warm in here and I'm sitting on the engine which is, which is grounded and when I use this here it's tingling in my arm because I have 24 volt on that one now <laughs> but it's okay.
So the only thing left now is to find a ground cable for the 12 volt system and take it up here and connect it. And after that, uh, I think I'm finished with this job. Now it's this cable here. So I just need to uh, reroute it a bit, take it down there and see if I can get it into this channel here. Uh, going up. Yeah, and then of course all these cables that used to sit on the 12 volt bank um, also needs to find a new home. So um, that's uh, the next task. <laughs> when you first think of a job like this, you think, oh, it's pretty straightforward. There will be no obstacles. It's crazy that you never learn. <laughs> There's always obstacles and things you don't think about. Yeah, and this installation was no exception from that rule. <laughs> so the old plus cable for the generator will now be the new ground cable for the control or the DC to DC um, converters. That's a hard word for my Swedish tongue to pronounce. Converters. <laughs> Converters are uh, connected in a parallel, so I need two ground wires to the 12 volt system or to connect to the different to the two boxes. But I only have one cable, thicker cable, going to the minus bus bar at the electrical panel. So this way I can have two cables, one for each uh, box. And now I'm just putting some uh, cable ties just to hold these two cables together because otherwise if they are torn apart they could rip this uh, uh, shrink tube. a bit too long. I think one of the biggest reasons why cruising really stuck with me is that there is always something new to learn and you, you always have to deal with problems even if you don't like to have problems it's uh, so rewarding when you can solve a problem you have uh, and when you're cruising and sailing in places where you're not uh, in places you're not familiar with uh, it uh, can sometimes be you know you have to rely on yourself and that forces you to learn new stuff and a lot of people have asked if I have some background in this and in no way I have never worked with with electrical stuff I have no background in this it's just that over the years, having different boats and stuff, you have to learn. And often it is because you have a problem with your boat that you need to fix. And then you, yeah, you just try to fix it, even if you don't uh, have all the knowledge from the start. And then sometimes you make mistakes, but at least you learn something from it. And uh, that's a really cool aspect that I really like about cruising and sailing that especially like long distance sailing when is that you're dependent on yourself and it, that forces you to learn a lot of different things and on a boat there's so many different systems uh, that you need to be able to maintain yourself and uh, to learn something about and uh, that makes this hobby or <laughs> lifestyle very broad and I think that's why you, you, you never get bored of this lifestyle, because there is always something new to learn. It could be the sailing part or uh, the stuff on the boat, like the mechanical parts or electricity or... Yeah, there is always something new to learn. 
and there's always a new place to see as well so it's really an endless bucket of stuff that you can learn and experience and that's what I really like about cruising and this this lifestyle so if I can do this stuff everybody can all the cables are connected this is on this is on so let me show you <coughs> so now these two are fed from the 24 volt bank through the input here and they are connected in a parallel and they feed the 12 volt side through these outputs here and here to the 12 volt system so now if I switch this on the 12 volt switch on the other side we should have power on the 12 volt panel let's see if it works yes seems to be working perfectly so that's it we have both uh, 24 and 12 volt power on the boat again now we'll just tidy up a bit here and put back this panel Well, that's it for today. Time to head back to the house. Continue tomorrow. Today we will start packing up our belongings again to move from the house back to the boat it's been really nice staying here having that uh, extra space and uh, all the lu luxurious things that you have in a, in a in a bigger home like dishwasher laundry and all that After cleaning the house, we went down to the harbor to bring the old batteries to the recycling station. Three times 218 kilos, so what's that, 660? <laughs> Great that we have gotten off the old batteries from the boat now. We're starting to prepare to leave Sweden now. We're leaving in just um, like uh, four weeks. So everything we do now is preparing, getting rid of stuff from the boat that we don't need any longer. 
buying new stuff that we need. <laughs> now we're gonna go and pick up our new passports. We have our passports. We are ready to leave Sweden. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, please subscribe and give the video a thumbs up.